of those issues. The check engine light comes on. And if you're like me, and 99.9% .9 of Americans, you know officially diddly squat about the inside of your automobile. That's the technical term, diddly squat. So we rely on a mechanic. We blindly turn our car over to them, and we hope that they don't say something strange to us that we don't understand. We hope and we pray that they don't hand us a $3,000 estimate. We hope that they don't give us a checklist of seven things that need to be done and scare us that our kids and our grandkids are unsafe in our car unless we get them fixed. What if you could take power back? What if you could take control back and own the exact same device that they use to run diagnostics on your car and figure out what actually needs to get done before they decide what they're gonna tell you needs to get done? It's called the micro mechanic. Every single car since 1996 has what's called an OBD reader. It's a little slot usually hidden under your steering wheel that when you plug it in, it actually gives you a full diagnostic and tell you exactly what's wrong with your car. And then you can figure out, A, if your mechanic is honest or not, and B, you can find out exactly what needs to be done, how much of an emergency it is, and how much it's supposed to cost. For $20, you protect yourself, you save yourself the worry and the hassle of seeing a check engine light and thinking it's the end of the day and you gotta stop everything and get to a mechanic. For $20, your car can be completely protected and know what's going on inside and out. It's available today on two flexible payments. All you do is download a free app to Apple or Android and that's how you read the results. And any car, SUV, pickup, truck, sedan, coupe, any car, American or foreign, made after 1996. So that's 20 two-year-old cars, any car newer than that, can use the micro mechanic. Now, Justin Gottfeld is joining us. He was our car washer in the last hour. He's now our mechanic in this hour. And thanks to this little guy right here, he's the most honest, fair mechanic you'll ever find. That's right, and now you can be your own fair mechanic. <laughs> yep. You're gonna turn your driveway, your garage, into that mechanic, that auto shop, so that you can find out and see exactly what's wrong with your vehicle. Maybe there isn't a check engine light, but you just wanna go ahead and check it. But maybe that check engine light is on and you have no idea what it means. And when you take it to those auto, but auto body shops at the mechanic shops, you're not really sure exactly if they're pulling one on over on you. Now be 100% sure exactly what's going on. Now the OBD uh, reader is not something that's brand new, but it's something that is now so affordable and easy to understand because now all you have to do is download an app to your phone or to your tablet and all you do is plug it into that OBD reader. As Brett said, it's usually underneath your dashboard, underneath your steering wheel and then turn it on and it'll automatically connect via Bluetooth after you download that app to your phone or tablet and it'll start giving you up-to-date live diagnostics and telling you whether it's safe to drive your vehicle or not just safe to drive your vehicle. Well, I think that's the most important thing. It's not just, oh, every mechanic is a scam artist, because right. they're, they're not. Mm -hmm. But you know what? When the kid's gotta get to school and you've gotta get to work and your check engine light is on, this micro mechanic tool can let you know whether or not you can go about your day it needs to be fixed, but it's not a safety issue. It's not a potential emergency. Or this micro mechanic can go, no, 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 no. You need to cancel your day, make other plans for the kids and get your car towed or directly to the mechanic before you get on and about your day. Just that peace of mind. To know that that little light is the beginning of actual information and the right plan and plot. You know, I mean, come on. Think about what your car costs. Think about what your car insurance costs. Think about what the last mechanic quote was. $20 to have the same diagnostic tool that they're using for $20 to make sane out of what can be a very stressful situation when a check engine light goes on. We used to offer these um, under a different name and they were $80. Mm -hmm. And I personally thought at $80 they were a worthwhile investment. It's the same technology. It's the same information. It's easier than it's ever been before through Apple and Android. And it's a $20 buy. That's it. Yeah, and my uncle is a car mechanic. Uh, self-made car mechanic. He loves working on vehicles. We might not be that kind of person, right? But now you have the technology, the same technology that those types of people are using. And now it's easy to understand because normally those OBD readers used to just give you a regular code and then you'd have to figure out what that code meant. Here, using your app, I wanna show you how easy it is to see exactly what your vehicle is going to be showing you through that app. So for instance, your crankshaft position sensor. Do we know what that is? Not necessarily. Our purge flow, our uh, crankshaft again. We can go ahead and click on one of these and you can see right here where it's in red. It says unsafe to drive. 
if we were to click this, this is our throttle well, and pedal position. Can I tell you just for a second that, that, what was it, the crankshaft? The crankshaft. So yeah. I have absolutely Not a band. no idea what a crankshaft is. <laughs> I would have thought it was like a heavy metal band. It's a rock band, yeah. And, uh, oh, it is? No, I, I, oh. I got to imagine oh, that okay. it is. So, but here's the thing. I don't know about you guys, but if I went to a mechanic and they said, it's gonna be $500 to fix your crankshaft, I would have said, you're the crank, and I would have turned <laughs> around, got in my car, and driven away. I mean, quite frankly, they could speak in Polish to me, and yeah. it would be as much information. The crankshaft, I would go, that is the most made up piece of gobbledygook I've ever, when it's on here, I'll go, oh, my car is a crankshaft, and apparently it's unsafe and needs to be fixed. Good to know, and now, yes, by all means, please, Mr. Car Mechanic, fix my apparently broken crankshaft. Of course, we all know what the crankshaft is, right? <laughs> well, if you aren't sure, all you have to do is then click it. It'll explain to you exactly everything. I can even learn what a crankshaft is? You can learn, and you know what? It'll even give you an estimate oh, on cool. how much it should cost to replace and or fix that crankshaft. So $102 to $225. You can even set up your next mile service for, for instance, so, your crankshaft. So here, Let's just say that your gas cap was loose. Mm -hmm. Not an emergency. Something even I could fix myself, and this would tell me so. So I don't make an appointment, so I don't cancel my morning, so I don't drive through rush hour traffic to get to my service dealer that's in another town. It could say, Brett, your gas cap is loose, and I could go and be done. I'd say that's worth $20. I'd say it's worth giving it a try and running a diagnostic on your car for $10. What about one of you that's thinking about buying a used car? If you're thinking about buying an automobile and you know, the Carfax report may or may not be provided, it may not be up to date, it may have, you know, there may be problems now that there were there two weeks ago. Every single used car you're consider buying, you can plug this into it and see whether or not there's actually anything wrong with the vehicle you're about to buy privately. I mean, for $20, for the thousands you're gonna spend on a used vehicle, I'd say that's pretty impressive peace of mind. $20, and think about it, maybe there is an existing problem that you're not aware of, you and by continuing them. to drive your vehicle, now mm -hmm. you're costing yourself even more money to fix it. And Rep brought up an amazing idea, which is if you are going out and you're shopping for a car, maybe for you or for maybe somebody younger in the family, you're not maybe particularly buying them a brand new vehicle, Vehicle. And so you want to make sure that that car is up to date. You have fixed everything. And maybe those people said, we brought it to a mechanic. We have a friend. Well, now you have a friend. Doesn't you have happen. your own power, your micro mechanic, plug it in and you can leave it inside your vehicle and continue to have all of those live updates. So you could just leave it in always yep. and it'll push through information or you can plug it in, unplug it, keep it in the glove box, move it to a different Should vehicle, say, share it with your spouse, share it with your kids. I mean, listen, Girlfriend comes over for dinner one night and through the course of the meal, she goes, you know, my car made a funny noise when I was driving over here. Like, oh, guess what? <laughs> I got a mechanic in my pocket. <laughs> oh, and I've got this thing too. Yeah. It's <laughs> a bad joke. Uh, it's available for right you today. Right next to my crankshaft. It's available for you today for under $20. I mean, think about how much money we spend on our automobiles. You know, this may sound silly, but uh, you know, there's a lot of lemons when you buy a new car. Without a doubt. Plug this into a brand new car before you sign on the dotted line. And if there's something wrong, make the dealer fix it for you before you drive off the lot and now have another problem that you gotta pay money to have taken care of. I actually was one of those people. I went and I went to an actual uh, you know, dealer, which I felt like being there, I had the confidence that they have their own mechanics. And sure enough, I, I actually, <laughs> it was one of my first vehicles, spent $5,000, I was all excited. And sure enough, months later, my transmission blew. Imagine being able to, as Brett said earlier, every car after 1996 is going to be able to use this micro mechanic to now see, to now have the confidence, to not feel like, well, I'm not so sure. Do I trust them? Do I not trust them? Now have the confidence that where you are, you will always know exactly what's going on with your vehicle. So in our last two moments, that is of course the question on everybody's mind if you're watching our presentation, will it work on my car? If your car is less than 22 years old, and if your car is still running well at 22 years old, you deserve a gold medal. Yep. If your car is less than 22 years old, this will work. You do have the outlet that has to be plugged in. And there are restrictions that require it on every car, American and foreign, whether it is an SUV, a pickup truck, a sedan, a sports car, whether it is a hatchback, uh, whether it's electric or gas, whether it's hybrid, you know, wherever it comes from. They all have this reader. And the bottom line is, you know, the little trick of the trade, 
this is what the mechanic uses. First thing you do mm -hmm. when you give a car over to a mechanic is they plug in an OBD reader and now get the same information that you get. Yeah, they're, they're not just checking every individual thing. Absolutely, they're going ahead and they're getting the diagnostics from your vehicle and then figuring out what the issue is. You can do that as well. So now you walk into the mechanic shop, you drive the, uh, your vehicle to the auto body shop and you say, here's what's wrong. And if they give you a quote, say, well, no, I know that it is really not gonna cost that much money. And then, well, we can go from there. But now you know, walking in, exactly what the problem is, what the issue is. And maybe it's just the maintaining of your vehicle. Maybe there isn't something seriously wrong. Maybe you have that check engine light on with your app. You can actually go into your app and go ahead and turn that check engine light on. And I wanna talk about the technology part really quickly. If you are afraid of the idea of plugging this in, it's extremely easy to find. Chances are you have a phone or tablet. It'll automatically connect via Bluetooth. So you don't have to be tech savvy, you don't have to be a mechanic, but you are gonna be wearing that mechanic hat once you get your micro mechanic. You know, at the end of the day too, I would advise you to think about for just a moment about the younger generations you know, who never learned about car engines, who don't know what to do when check engine lights come on, who are quick to hand it over to a stranger and pay for it. You know, I think about the people that are super busy in their lives and their car dealer, or their car service place is miles and miles and miles away and requires an appointment and takes up hours of your time. You know, it is $20 today, that's it. We've never offered an OBD reader for anywhere near this affordably. And that's why over 500 of you have ordered it this hour alone. Uh, it is the only airing of the day today and the most affordable model we've ever offered. Uh, it sends the information wirelessly to uh, Apple or an Android device. And again, if it told you your gas cap was loose, uh, wouldn't it be pretty nice to know that you could just do that yourself? It won't get on with your day and not feel unsafe. Okay, so shop for it while it is available. Now, uh, we are focused on a fall cleanup 